To start designing our CO2 car, we're going to start in Inventor and start by opening up a new part file. Remember that Inventor might take a few minutes to load, especially if you're working on a remote desktop, so just be patient and we will talk about saving often. The first thing you're going to want to do in your part is go up to Tools. That way we can change our document settings and make sure that our units are in millimeters since that's what we've been using for our specifications and all of our measurements so far. Now as we start our CO2 car, we're going to start by making the blank, so the full piece of wood that we will then cut away from. So when we do this, we're gonna start off in our sketch and start a 2D sketch. And for this particular model, it's gonna be very important that we start on the XY plane. On that XY plane, we're gonna start with a line that begins in the origin, so our zero, zero point, and it's gonna go 305 millimeters to the right. From there, you can go ahead and zoom out or use your tools to pan off to the side. And at the end of that line, we're gonna go straight up for 18 millimeters. You can now come back over at an angle and getting this end on our axis line, we're just gonna create another line at an angle and we will establish the actual length of it later. So bring it back down, complete that shape. And now we will use our dimension tool to dimension this vertical line making it 68 millimeters tall. When we dimension that, you can see how it adjusted this angle over here and therefore the length of that line to complete that shape. So this is what we need. It should be 68 millimeters tall in the back, 305 millimeters long, and 18 millimeters tall in the front. When you have those measurements, we can go ahead and finish our sketch. And then we're going to extrude. Now, when we are extruding, we are going to make sure that the distance is 40 millimeters, but rather than just doing direction, the default or the flipped, we're actually going to pick the symmetric direction. This is especially important if you are doing a shell car. Using that symmetric direction will help because we'll be able to start in the middle of our CO2 car. So again, we'll extrude for 40 millimeters and OK. Now that is the car itself. Don't forget that our car, our blank, does start with that hole for our cartridge. So toggling over to the left side of your blank, we're going to start a new sketch right here. You can either right click with your mouse to start a new sketch, or you can use the Start 2D Sketch button and then click on that face. We're going to make a circle. You can make it in the center so you can see how there's that dotted line that appeared. So centered from left to right. Don't try to center it from top to bottom yet though. You can put it pretty much anywhere except for the exact middle um, in terms of the up and down. We're gonna make the diameter 20 millimeters. And then again, we will use our dimension tool. Going from the center of the circle, excuse me, to the top, of our car. We're going to change that measurement to 36 millimeters. So it'll actually just be a little bit below the center um, and that's going to be the location of our cartridge hole. You can go ahead and finish your sketch and then we're going to extrude one more time, this time cutting that cartridge hole in for 50 millimeters. Before you do this you might want to look at it on an angle just to make sure it is in fact going into your car and cutting that hole. Click OK, and at this point we want to go ahead and file save, and we're going to remember to save our part often. When you're saving this, you're going to want to save it either to your OneDrive or you're going to want to save it to your H drive. Whichever one you're saving it to, let's go ahead and do it as your name car. And if you want to add your period number in there, you can as well. So that is the first step in making our car an inventor, starting off with that blank. Once you finish that, you can go ahead and proceed to some of the next videos to look at some of the tips and tricks for the tools of creating your car even further.